So I want to show you something you probably haven't seen before. Uh, it's a, a piece of glass. It's in a kind of a prism shape. Interesting shape. Almost something you'd get in art class and say, here, try to draw this shape. Um, and it's an optical component. It's called a Phillips prism. And it was invented to enable color television. So it's a prism that breaks up uh, the colors into three. So white light will come in and break up into red, green, and blue. And at each exit port of this optical prism would be a television sensor. So back in the day, it would be a Viticon tube. So you had three tubes in the television, and each one would, one would have red, one would have green, and one would have blue. And uh, even today, they're being used. Uh, if you get a 3CCD uh, video camera, uh, they'll have a prism in it. Um, and a lot of uh, projectors work the opposite way. So LCD projectors, uh, they'll have three LCDs, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And they need to combine those into a full image. And they'll use one of these prisms to go the opposite way and uh, create, a, create a prism. So the one that I have here is, is a large one. And the reason I got to keep it was this one has a boo-boo on it. It's got a, somebody dropped it and it's got a chip. I don't know if I dropped it or I don't remember now. Anyway, um, it has uh, dichroic filters in between the different prism faces. Let's shine a white flashlight into the entrance of the um, prism. And we can see that it breaks up into red, green, and blue. So here I'm showing a, a diagram of how the, the light is rerouted inside the prism. Uh, there's some critical angles inside this thing. It's all calculated very cleverly uh, so that these dichroic filters work and that things come out. There's both uh, dichroic filters that separate the light, and then there's also some total internal reflections that reroute the light to various places. And I have one more. Um, I did a project once where we ended up using Fuji as the sub-supplier, and I spent several weeks uh, in Japan working on optical components for an LCD projector. And uh, this is the prism they gave me as a sample, uh, showing that they, they built these things also because Fuji built uh, cameras. And uh, I don't think we used Fuji, the prism itself, uh, but we did uh, have Fuji build our uh, lenses and do the optical assembly. Anyway, I thought maybe you hadn't seen such a thing, and it's kind of magical when you uh, when you put the flashlight in it.